Welcome to my 30 day screencast challenge where I help you demonstrate your ideas with ease. So using old footage from a, a previous video about how to use an Excel spreadsheet for budgeting, I'm going to show you how to use the pan effect. And um, so what I got here, I'm going to start I'm on the footage, I'm entering in some figures. Round right about there. So I'm going to add uh, a zoom effect first. Uh, around about there so I'll you select animations and make sure you have zoom and pan selected so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this bottom right hand corner and bring it up to the opposite end and I'm going to go keep going a little bit around about there now I'll when you see the the cross, uh, you'll select that rectangle, bring it down to the point where you want it, and want it about there, and let go. So we'll just play that. We'll just put the playhead back. So I'm going to type in some some dummy data there. I'm going to bring this up a, a few seconds and at that point when I, I come across I want it to pan so the, the screen will follow the, the arrow along just as your eyes would naturally go so that, that's what the pan is going to do so to do that I'm going to go back up here and again you see the cross there I'll select that rectangle and bring it over to about there more or less. And you'll notice another arrow, another animation arrow appears. So I'll just bring the playhead back. I'll make sure I'm happy with that animation. Yep, I can even bring this arrow a little bit further up, further along. Try that one more time. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm I'm now looking at this more prominently. Uh, I'll bring this further along to about 46 seconds. About there. So now I just want to I want to now zoom back out again. So I'll come back here and select scale to fit. Another arrow has uh, been added to the bottom here, and I'll scroll along. So about the 51 second mark. And again, I, I now want to zoom in here. So I'll choose the, I'll go back up here, select the top left hand corner, zoom in. So about 226. There, yep, yeah, more or less. So again, select that rectangle, bring it over to about say about there so I can still see the writing and how it's aligned and perhaps even before it heads down to the bottom section I'm going to pan down a little bit here so where the playhead is I'm going to add another pan animation so I'll come back here select the rectangle and drag it down a little bit to there and I'll let go it's another pan animation I'll press pr press play so it kind of follows along and I'm just looking at this I may decide to add another more pan if I want to so look if I really want to I can drag this a little bit over with a zoom on it pan and zoom so again I'll just I'll adjust this rectangle bring it down to about there yep so we'll see how that looks press play yeah so that that's kind of a combination of a zoom and pan at the same time so that's how you adjust 
um, the animation so that it, it, it's, it scans or tracks along the screen. So that is an example. So you go to animations, make sure zoom and pan is selected, and once you've got the right uh, adjustment or you've, you've adjusted the zoom as, as you desire, it's simply a matter of moving that rectangle along to the point where you are wanting the person's eyes to focus on. And that's what the, the zoom is or the, the pan is all about. If you found this valuable, uh, give this video a like uh, or subscribe uh, to receive more videos on how to demonstrate your ideas with ease. See you next time.